So viewers, this is Collingsborough Viaduct. With 21 arches, 14 to the north side of its girder span and 7 to the south. Collingsborough Viaduct formed part of a connection between the Hull and Barnsley Railway and those of the Great Northern and Great Eastern. At 1,527 feet in length, the arches of the 55 feet span built of red brick faced with blue bricks. Many of the materials were sourced locally and each part put in place by the contractors Henry Lovett Limited. Opening on the 17th of March 1909, the route served the Dern Valley Railway over the River Don, which was a proposed route for an inland port at Sheffield. The passenger services across the viaduct were withdrawn in September 1951, but the line over the viaduct remained open for freight until 1966. Whilst the collieries that the line served were still open, subsidence at the viaduct prompted its abandonment and a new junction was built at the northern end of the line to allow traffic to operate from the northern end only. The viaduct was under threat in the 1980s when the presence of dwarf elder trees in the brickwork led to the possibility of the viaduct being demolished. In 1985, the disused viaduct was transferred to the British Railways Board and in 2010, Sustrans tarmac the viaduct as part of the route becoming a long distance walking and cycling path. Notably, in 2015, the viaduct was a setting for a murder scene in the TV series DCI Banks. Off, off camera, Harry just called this a slip and slide approach, and I agree, it's very slippery indeed. That is the viaduct. Bits of it look very nice, apart from the wet bit that I'm stood in. Then over there, there's nice viaducts across the cutting. Over there, which looks nice also. We've got a yappy dog ruining my audio. <laughs> ah, let's go this way. Oh, concrete railway sleeper there. Ah, so someone has carved here 3.0026 of October 1976 and then they've put F off. Yeah, lovely. Over 11 million bricks and 2,000 tonnes of cement were used in the construction of this viaduct. It may be interesting to note that the viaduct was constructed mainly from an overhead cableway called a bodlin, which is now a great feature in bridge building work. It had a span of 1,875 feet and stretched the entirety of the valley, whilst at the same time the bodlin was capable of lifting a weight of 3 tonnes and this carried materials to different parts of the works. Coming towards the iron section of this viaduct viewers, we can see Coningsborough Castle over there. <laughs> Do like these large finials here. These are lovely, these ashlar caps on top. these are check that viewers it's a long way down so viewers just to add a bit of context to our explore today on this Coningsborough viaduct which is magnificent we didn't have a lot of information on it at the time because the area that we're exploring in was a backup. Last week's video, the water tunnel, link in description, that was a backup, and then this was a backup of the backup, so I didn't have any information to hand about the viaduct. 
Harry did have some information and here it is. Well, the bridges and then you just walk on there and that slide up. Slide up to the right. Is it? Oh nice. We'll film that then. Yeah. Do you know what the viaduct was for? Uh, trains. I trains. Think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was. yeah. Big, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty big for pedestrians. Harry yeah. truly is a wonderful person, and these backups that he had were invaluable on our day because the planned visits during our urban exploration tour were cut short due to staff being on site and the locations being sealed. So back to the video. Got some more railway over there by the looks. Looks like that P-way is still in use. Might even get a train along there. You've yeah, got a class 158 I believe it is. See how the river's bust its banks. Well the additional floodplain is awash with the brown sludge from below. Looks like the uh, section here has been re-engineered, put steel sheets down and concrete on top and add the drainage to open this back up as a public footpath and possibly bridleware. See one of the refuges here for the rail workers. Stand up in that. Look at the view. Another train coming along that line, I believe. I think that's a 172, but I'm not 100% sure. Answers in the comments if you know what type of terrain that is. Hurry up on the wall. He always makes the safe dangerous. Does Harry? Bless him. We make our way along this wonderful viaduct. Got some active lines down there, viewers, as we head off towards a disused railway tunnel. To see the Railway Tunnel Explore come back next Thursday at 4pm UK time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to see all the Airbex videos that we produce here on ALW Research Team. Check out the playlist for Project Motor and those videos come out on a Sunday 8am UK time. Bye bye for now.